I didn't expect her to respond. I expected people to look at that thread and see the alternative viewpoints rather than just having this absurd view of the niqab and the burqa and the hijab. So I remember being really frustrated, especially knowing that a pretty high profile MP has said stuff like this, but also the fact that she wasn't receiving backlash from the media or from any prominent political commentators or her fellow colleagues her M or MPs um, across parliament. And that really frustrated me. So when I sent her the tweet, I didn't really expect her to respond. It was more so me thinking okay let me put out the alternative argument from the perspective of a muslim woman and um, and then i didn't expect her to respond i expected people to look at that thread and see the alternative viewpoints rather than just having this absurd view of the niqab and the burqa and the hijab for me it's just really disappointing that we don't take islamophobia and um, racism seriously in politics and i think that's really evident from seeing Nadine Doris being promoted to culture secretary. Um, she's got a huge history of racism, a huge history of Islamophobia, um, from like retweeting Tommy Robinson to um, what she said to me about Muslim women and even like the tropes of saying that Muslim women can't choose their own husbands and if they choose not to marry then that's um, an issue in the community. I think for a lot of Muslim women who don't wear hijab the general consensus is that they will wear it one day and I don't want that right to be taken away because an MP has a prejudice or a bias against what we actually wear. I mean just because I don't wear hijab in my Twitter pictures or I don't wear it full time there is always like, I'm going to wear it on certain days, I'm going to wear it like during Ramadan or um, when I want to wear it and there will be one day where I actually realise that yeah I really want to wear this and I don't want that right to be taken away from me, the right to choose what I want to wear and to also be able to defend um, my Muslim sisters who do choose to wear it is a really powerful thing for me to do so I'm going to use that privilege and that platform to denounce any authority figure that's gonna um, say that kind of stuff and use derogatory terms to describe us. <laughs>